welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all my coolly stitchy things. And this is part six of rediscovering my stash. So I have put myself in a little no buy on September because I kind of can't ran out of room. <laughs> so I'm just going through all of my stash and rediscovering what I have. I'm taking you along with me and telling you what plans I have for the things along the way. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you would like to see me do sooner rather than later. Now I did get a comment um, on the last video, one of my last videos, asking if I would start linking the patterns down below. Well, so I'm going to do my best to try and link some of the tutorials down in the description box below. There is a lot, <laughs> so I don't know how many or if I can link them all, but I will do my best to try to link some of them. Okay. And all those are, um, all of those are the tutorials from Missouri Star. It won't be the actual patterns, but it will be the tutorials, and then you can buy the patterns, patterns from there if you choose. I personally just use the tutorials and go from there. Okay, so we have layer cakes today. So let me show you what some of these layer cakes are. So this is Beckford Terrace. Blues and yellows. Now I won't be showing all the individual fabrics just because it would take forever. And I plan on using a night sky quilt tutorial from Missouri Star for this. All right. Then I have At Home from Bonnie and Camille. There's all those blues and greens back there. Light greens, I guess. Many greens. Now, if I remember lot right, this line actually came out with two different colorways. There was the blue one and the red one, where the mom did one and the daughter did the other. I chose the blue one, of course. And I plan on using the Tutorial English Gardens for this. Then I have... Beverly Park um, from RJR. There we go. Go through these a little bit. And I plan on doing the Royal Wedding for that. And Hydrangea Blue. And I can just show you the back of those. And this says the Colorado block. All right. Now, got some batiks. These are island batiks. And this is the Express Garden. And I plan on doing the tulips quilt with this. Now, I do think those would make a lot of pretty tulip collars in there. And then we have this. This is also from um, Island Batiks. This is called Blue Moon. And I plan on doing the Dutchman's Puzzle. Now, this one doesn't have any plans. Just another batik, Ohana. Another batik with no plans. This is Petal Party. Actually, I do think I have plans for this. Hold on just a second. Let me look. Okay, I was wrong. I don't have any plans for this. Now, when I first started buying all these pre-cuts, I used to have this list of the name of the pre-cut, and then I would choose a pattern as it came in. So it had it all organized and had it written down and all these lists. So that's what I was doing. I was going through and seeing if I did already have a pattern picked out. And then before I do these videos, I put those little pieces of papers on it just, and I'm going to leave there, leave those papers there. So I remember well, I went back through my list and I did have the pedal party written down, but I didn't have a pattern beside it. So there is no pattern, but anyway, I still think it's pretty. And then I have Spring Break. And 
and Coastal Getaways. All right. Now, these are some more recent layer cakes that I've bought, but I don't have any plans for. This is Flower Garden. All those on the back. And then Willow from Moda from One Canoe Two. And then this, I'm going to call a quilt lit kit because I have yardage to go with it. But this is Blossom Lane. This is from Riley Blake. Take a look at the back. There's all the fabrics. And I think these are one yard cuts that I have these for. So one will be a binding, one could be a border. So I call this a quilt kit because all I have to add is some background. Sometimes I might need an accent or so, but that's okay. I've got lots of Kona solids I could choose from for that. So I have all that. <laughs> now let's go to some more. I don't have any plans for this. This is Magic of the Seasons. This is supposed to be more like a Christmassy line. But it's not quite Christmassy colors, if I remember. Okay. That was by Lisa Audit. And I have another batik. This is Nightshade Batiks. It's, this is also from Island Batiks. <clears throat> no plans for this one. This is from Free Spirit Buttermere, I guess is how you say it. This is Timeless Treasures. No plans. This is V Rose. So this is more of like a Valentine's Day thing, I think. But no plans for it. And then, I think this is the last one that I don't have any plans for. And this is Vintage Boardwalk by Kimber Bell. All right. Next, slide this out of the way. Okay, this is Midnight Poppies. And I plan on doing a pinwheel picnic quilt. Here's the back of all those fabrics. And then this is Maywood Studios, English Countryside. And this is a Time to Sew quilt. Blues. It's like I like blues. And this is from Deb Strain, Llama Love. I don't have any plans for that. Llamas, pinks. There we go. And Amethyst Magic, purples. Bloom, bloom, butterfly. No plans. Just a quick overview of the colors and things that's in there. Okay, maybe now all the rest of them have plans. Because I wrote my list of all, all the patterns I need to link. There's like 20 of them. This is Lemon Twist. And I plan on doing a nine patch and hourglass quilt. 
And there's that. And then we have Bliss from My Mind's Eye. And this is a diamond dance is what I plan on doing with it. And then this is Kitty Kitty 2. So these just have different cats on it. And this I plan on doing the pins and paws um, quilt kit, which I know is just like a bunch of, of cats. So I got cat fabric, different colors. All right. And this is Adele from Wyndham's Fabrics. And I plan on doing a simple diamonds quilt. Again, just different blues and whites. <laughs> Rainbow seeds, twinkling stars. Butterflies, paisleys, looks like some flowers, mason jars. Royal Blue. This is um, Edita Sitar by Laundry Basket Quilts. And I plan on doing a turnstile quilt. It's a sitar from Andrew Basket Quilts. All right. And then I have a Tula Pink Pinkerville layer cake. Let's see. This I plan on doing the Disappearing Hourglass Crazy 8, it said. Again, off the top of my head, I don't know what any of these patterns look like. But I will do my best to link them down in the description box below if you wanted to take a look at them to link the tutorials. All right, let me switch some things around real quick. Okay, I was running out of room. Next, we have another Timeless Treasures. And this is Zephyr. And I plan on doing a Starburst quilt. Black, gold, white. And then we have a Riley Blake, My Mind's Eye Blush by Jen Allison. And I plan on doing a checkered lattice quilt is what it said. Some blush and navies. All right, and then I have a Lori Holt bake sale. This is, I plan on doing a disappearing four patch star. Have that few more here. And then I have this one. This is The Floor by Riley Blake. I plan on doing an illusions quilt. Give me a quick overview. Let's see. And I have Smitten with Spring. And this is Flying Geese Diamond. Little birdies there. <clears throat> Got three more. This is from Northcott. Hopelessly Romantic. And I plan on doing Twinkling Stars quilt. And 
There's that. This is Poppies. This is from Maywood Studios by Rachel Shelburne. Shelburne. And this is Spring Rain is the name of the quilt I plan on doing with it. There we go. And the last one. This is Indigo Glow from Wilmington Prints. And I plan on making a snail trails quilt. Just a lot of different indigo colored things. All right. So that's all of my layered, well, not all my layer cakes, but it's all the layer cakes that was in that particular section. So at the end of part six, I have 37 layer cakes and one kit. So that brings my totals so far to 30 quilt kits, 44 jelly rolls, 14 jolly bars, 37 fat quarter bundles, 68 charm packs, 41 fat quarters, and 37 layer cakes. And part seven will be more layer cakes. <laughs> layer cakes are my favorite pre-cut. Okay, until next time.